Sasa ikiwa usha uh, win ndama wako you don't give mola plus ali kaf winner after winning sasa unataka ngombe ndama wako aendelee kuongeza weight awe wa kiume awe wa kike unataka aendelee kuongeza nini weight unataka aendelee ku grow very fast unataka kama ni ndume umuuze katika ule mwaka aliozaliwa ndani in under 12 months umuuze na upate over 120k na kama ni wango, kama ni wa maziwa kama ni ashike mimba katika ule mwaka aliozaliwa ndani unafaa kuhakikisha weight gain continues on a daily basis sasa una introduce product ambayo inaitwa Mola Plus Super Milk Booster this product Mola Plus Super Milk Booster is a milk booster kwa sababu hii ni formulation ambayo iko na everything that a cow requires to increase milk kwa ngombe wa maziwa itamfanya aongeze mazi maziwa na maziwa itaongezeka between 1 and 5 liters extra per cow per day inaanza kuongezeka by the third day so ukitumia mola plus super milk booster sikwambii enda chukua eh upee ngombe wako labda baada ya wiki mbili ndio itaongeza maziwa a a haitaongeza maziwa baada ya wiki moja maziwa inafaa ikiwa unafanya the right thing ianze kuongeza kuanzia siku ya ngapi ya tatu by siku ya ine, significantly unafaa kuona maziwa yameongezeka siku ya tano, ya sita. and that is when you know you are getting it right because mola plus super milk booster has very high quality energy iko na energy ya juu sana ndipo ngombe akupee maziwa ndipo ngombe at produce maziwa anatakana kile kitu ambacho huyo ngombe unamlisha 70% ambayo eh, kile ambacho kinafanya ngombe ashibe 70% inafaa kupeana energy so usilishe tu ngombe wako useme ngombe ameshiba ujiulize ameshiba nini 70% ya kile kitu ambacho ngombe wako anakula kinafaa kiwe ni source of energy so ngombe wako anafaa ashibe vitu kama nyazi vitu kama nepia grass hay those kind of things that are sources of energy okay 70% halafu ukisha mlisha ngombe wako 70% nyazi inafaa ulishe ngombe 30% ya kile kitu ambacho kindamfanya ashibe iwe ni source of protein for a cow to produce milk they need 70% energy 30% protein ukipea ngombe wako energy 70% protein 30% haujakamilisha formulation ambayo ngombe wako anahitaji ikamilike ndio atengeneze maziwa ya kutosha katika system yake they just don't need energy and protein they need energy 70% protein 30% alafu kitu kinaitwa minerals minerals ambayo hasa ni calcium and phosphorus are a must na ndipo ngombe wako akupee production ya kutosha lazima apate the right ratio of energy protein alafu minerals ambayo ni calcium and phosphorus na it should be in the right ratio watu wana nimesikia watu wakisema ati oh mimi nataka eh, chumvi ambayo iko na high phosphorus that one is called trash rubbish nonsense ngombe hana haja na high anything ngombe anataka the right proportion of everything high nothing kwa sababu ukisema unataka kupea ngombe wako chumvi ambayo iko na high phosphorus ujue kwamba ngombe anahitaji for every two calcium anataka apate one phosphorus 
For every two calcium apart a two apart a one phosphorus. Meaning calcium must always be almost double phosphorus. Who compare phosphorus excess? Phosphorus in a lock calcium through a, through chemical reaction. Phosphorus iki lock calcium ngombe wako ananza kuwa na challenges kama milk fever. Akiza unasikia ngombe ameanguka chini hawezi kusima kusimama. Kwa sababu ngombe wako is not able to get calcium hata ukimpea gunia moja hata hata haitaingia kwa system kwa sababu technically the body has locked it up. Phosphorus has locked it up. It cannot be available because of a chemical reaction. Na hiyo ndio sababu ukienda kununua chumvi kama mkulima mfugaji nunua chumvi ambayo unajua iko na formulation ambayo is right don't buy based on cheap buy based on quality hapa nitataja kwamba mkulima anahitaji kitu kinaitwa chu chumvi si ni kweli lakini chumvi si ile red oxide ambayo ile chumvi ambayo mnaitanga na red inaenda inanunuliwa huko inakuja unataka sijui chumvi ya 10 bob ama 20 bob ama 50 wacha nikwambie kama uko nayo kwako enda chukua tupa let me tell you if you go to nakuru industrial area there are people who take some factory sweepings za chumvi ya white ya white yenye tunatengeneza chumvi ya binadamu wanakuja wanachukua kitu kinaitwa red oxide kinaitwa nini red oxide ile tunapakanga simiti chini wanachanganya ndani hiyo chumvi inakaa red Wana, wanakuambia ni maga magadi wanakuletea hizo zinauzwa tu kwa kabila ngapi Kenya hii kabila ngapi hebu niambie ni gani na gani Kalenjin and Masailand only any time you buy just know that you are having a signature of being a Kalenjin or a Maasai you can never sell something close to it live alone it you can't sell something close to it in central or eastern or kisi mahali ambapo watu wanajua maana ya kutengeneza mazi maziwa maana ya fertility hiyo sio chumvi ukisikia chumvi ya ngombe kinachozungumziwa ni minerals chumvi ambayo iko na balance ya phosphorus calcium all the trace elements and maybe vitamins unanielewa ukitaka kujua hiyo chumvi si chumvi enda ni enda angalia wamekwambia itakupea faida gani wamekwambia itakuongezea maziwa eh ndio si ndio they just mix it up wale ambao wanataka kukutengenezea kuna kitu kingine watu wengine wanafanya kule they go and buy lime inaitwa nini limestone halafu wanaweka hiyo kachumvi kidogo wanakuzia chumvi ambayo ni ya ndoo nasema hivi in good faith mkale akaona hii chumvi iko na ndoo ati nitatoa ndani chumvi na ndo ni endelee kukamua na ni shilingi ni bei kidogo anasema hiyo ndio mimi nata kama duka kama stockist hata leta hapo sasa hata watagoma kwenda kununua kwake kwa sababu anataka anataka ile ya ndo na ni bei rahisi ni mawe tu ile ya lime ya shilingi ta lime is actually five bob chumvi maybe another 5 or 10 wanakuuzia kilo 100 wanasema <laughs> let me tell you a good thing is good how results results at what cost results after how long acha tia ngombe wanapenda kulamba kwa sababu ni chumvi ngombe watalamba chu chumvi kama vile ukiwachia hebu wachia mtoto wako pale sukari alambe si atalamba tena alambe sana alafu ukuta pia amelamba because ni tamu 
but it is counterproductive. It destroys his health. You get it? Does it have an effect? It has a lot of effect. Let me tell you the first effect that makes everybody excited. It causes a cow to drink a lot of water. And do you know why you get excited? Ah, nikipea hii ndio ngombe wangu anataka kukunywa ma? Do you know why your cow drinks water wakati amelamba sana hiyo chumvi? Ni kwa sababu mwili una detect kwamba kuna sumu iko kwa damu. Lazima itoke. Kwa hivyo ngombe anakunywa maji ndio it dilute it flush out of the system. Does it have effect? Yes. It has. Thank <laughs> you.